Hello and welcome to another episode of this random stuff that I think of for Flesh and Blood. I'm Jacob, this is Geeks First. I'd like to let you know that I have uh, decided to dive into some of these Flesh and Blood tweets that are, are out here for the spoiler season uh, in regards to Everfest. <clears throat> and I apologize that my voice might sound a little off. I do believe I am coming down with something, but... Worry not, I have a nice uh, Crown Royal here, which I will be uh, wetting my whistle with throughout this conversation. The one that caught my attention the most is from January 17th, where it says, Four equipment cards that have previously not been printed in their classes for these zones before. Now, one might say, well, there's probably only so many options, and you'd be correct. So... What does any good data science person do? They create spreadsheets. So this is, to the best of my knowledge, accurate. I don't believe I screwed this up. I did go to FabDB. Highly recommend checking them out. FabDB is a great place to go get references for all sorts of cards. Um, I was just going to FabDB, um, and basically, you know, FabDB is one of those sites where the more and more I dive into it, I just, I can't even tell you how exciting it is to have uh, that site to be able to sort and filter on the different uh, types of of cards and classes. So what I did was I went to FabDB and I went ahead and searched for all of the equipment items. And by doing this, um, let's see if I can bring this over to the screen here. Bloop. So we're going to select from all sets, all rarities, everything, just search for equipment. You'll notice there's three pages. So this is essentially what I documented. I went through and got every single one of these individually. <clears throat> and I looked at their class. I looked at all the other bits and bobs. So here we go. Uh, not classed. Right now I have that as a blank because I didn't find any that were not classed. However, generic, as you can see, there are a lot of generics for legs, chest, heads, and arms. So for these, I had decided to color coordinate this with the highest rarity tier level of what is available for each of the individual uh, classes. So in this case, there is a only a common, actually technically there is a rare, uh, so I should probably color coordinate this to a blue, uh, but there is a, there is a rare uh, spell fray, leggings, which is generic. Uh, you have a legendary spring tunic, which is in your chest. You have a majestic gambler's gloves, and you have the legendary arc knight skull cap here as a generic head. Now, if you go to brute, you have one legendary, uh, and over here I tally these up in total. And I did not for the generics for sake of just, it, it wasn't, in my opinion, that important because it's not class specific. It doesn't tie into that tweet. Now, when we look at this a little bit further, you're noticing here on Brute, there is one legendary and one majestic. That is the highest they have. So Skullhorn is your majestic. You have one guaranteed. It's the, the Scapskin Leathers. That's the legendary here. Uh, then you have a common and a common, and then there's nothing for the arm. So this blue... Probably should have chose a different color now that I tried to make that blue up there, but uh, I'll just go ahead and undo that for now. So anyways, um, this is where the blanks exist in today's current setup. Now, Merchant and Shapeshifter are kind of exclusions to the rule, but holistically, when you look, every class has one or two legendaries. Of course, the only... Uh, two that have uh, the only one that has a double legendary in a singular slot is the ranger, which I do find to be really weird. Um, I don't play that that class very very often. Actually, I don't think I've really played it other than Blitz once. Uh, so I, I need to experiment with that. But other than that, they do have, in my opinion, a better pool compared to my favorite uh, mechanologist. So in mechanologist, I have only the chest, which is legendary. There is absolutely no specific arm. So if we go from top to bottom here, I'll just spell this out for you. Brute does not have an arm, so that is a possibility in Everfest. Guardian does not have a leg. That is a possibility in Everfest. Illusionist does not have a chest. Uh, that means that that is a possibility. Uh, Illusionist does not have a head, so that's a possibility. Mechanologist, hoping for some mech arms. You know, I don't know, some cool flamethrower, some like, you know, sprocket shooting something or other. I don't know. I mean, it'd be, it'd be awesome to have... I don't know, like a grappling hook. I, I, you know, take the, you know, smack it on your opponent and, and, you know, discard their, you know, it's like a command and conquer on a stick. I don't know. It's probably too powerful. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry. Um, 
Uh, we move on to Ninja here. Ninja does not have a chest. Ranger also does not have a chest. Uh, we're going to omit the shapeshifter here. And Warrior is and Wizard are both missing their heads. So combined, you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now, of these nine, you have one in each category with the exception of Illusionist. So we're going to highlight Illusionist here because Illusionist is a standout. They're going to possibly have uh, a, a better chance of getting something. Mech only has one. Ninja has one. Ranger has one. And so does everybody else. So if I had to make a gut check guess, I would imagine that Illusionist is going to get either a head or a chest based on the statistics of, of this layout. Now, on top of that, when you start looking at how many Majestics exist, I would also imagine that Illusionist might actually get both a Majestic, because they do not have a Majestic, um, you know, armor set that I'm aware of, uh, and a Legendary. So if they do get a Legendary, or maybe they don't get a Legendary, maybe they get a Majestic. So that's how they're going to the skin this. So if there's three Legendaries in the set, one of them is not probably going to be the Illusionist. Instead, maybe they get the Majestic, and it's going to be a Majestic chest for them. Uh, which would, would, you know, get them higher up. Now, every class here does at least have access to a single legendary, from what I can tell. Brute, Guardian, Illusionist, Mech, uh, Merchant does not, and Shapeshifter. So, you know, unless they do something hilarious here and give Shapeshifter and Merchant access to some, you know, legendary, I don't know what that is. Now, you might be saying, all right, hey, Jake, uh, you're missing some stuff here because this is just the the default. And I would say absolutely. So over here, um, we have some kind of oddities, and, and this is specific for Guardian because he's the only one that has an offhand weapon equipment. Uh, so you have the Rampart, which is also considered a legendary. So that is that is some weird off-the-beaten-path. So I wouldn't expect that to be, you know, there, there's something there already, so I wouldn't expect it. But what is different is you have legs, arms, heads, chest, and then I'm not going to count weapons, but uh, I can do that in another video. The legs, arms, heads, and chest, here's the matrix for this. And when you go to Earth, uh, Elemental, Ice, Lightning, and Shadow, you'll notice that there is a huge swath of gaps in this. Now, the problem with making more legendaries or majestics for these is they are subclasses within a class. So a Earth legs can only work with anybody who's Earth, which could be any number of heroes that fall into that category. So because they did word it the way they word, I would not put it out of the question that there could be one of these categories here. So a leg that's an earth, uh, a leg that's an element, a leg that's an ice. Or, and again, elemental is even crazier because elemental would be both for earth, ice, and lightning. So maybe maybe this set of generics or, or whatever they're planning for this um, <clears throat> might be later down the road, might be another set, because this would open up to a lot of different uh, options. This is kind of the generics for the elemental component. But your earth, your ice, your lightning, uh, there was no light that I could tell, light legs. Uh, but, you know, here are your legendaries within it. So I'm not really sure if I had to make a guess what this would be over here. So I, I can't really give you a good answer on what I would expect to, to see. But holistically, I do believe Illusionist, and I really hope Mechanologist gets something just because I'm biased toward Mechanologist. But at the same time, there could be a slew of random, you know, uh, if there's four, you know, if they say Mechanologist gets one, Illusionist gets one, uh, and then, you know, they, they sure up the maybe the Brute uh, and the Guardian, you know, that would knock out pretty much, you know, all those. And the only categories left would be the Ninja which I believe has some pretty stellar equipment. The Ranger, which is obviously overkilled at the moment, so I don't expect that slot to get filled. Um, and unless they're doing something specific for the Warrior and the Wizard, but again, both of those have double legendary options and uh, Majestic as well. So I would almost lean toward, I think that they're going to go down that route, but, you know, I, I don't know. So that's kind of the exciting piece about coming into this. You know, I've watched some spoilers. Uh, I ended up watching uh, Fluke and Dagger's little box opening uh, tease today where he blurred out his camera. Uh, kudos to him for doing that because that, that's definitely uh, hilarious in its own right. But at the same time, uh, it does make you really wonder what he's seen uh, behind that, uh, that magical veil of the uh, camera. And uh, I really look forward to seeing what's in this. I I'm really excited. I mean, I just, I can't tell you how excited I am for the sixth set. This is a pivotal time in uh, 
in Flesh and Blood. I think that this is really a, a kind of a make or break in some regards. Um, some of the other little tidbits that they're talking about is an attack that rewards an opponent for defending it. Uh, that is also something that I'm really looking forward to because I think there are some matchups that, again, as a growing player, as somebody learning the game further, there are individuals that just don't care. They'll just take the damage because they're swinging back because they're draining my hand, uh, and they're just smacking me for 10, 12, 13. Um, I, I think Oldham is, is a good example of that. I just I can't keep up with that with my mechanologist. But again, every pairing is not you know one-to-one. -one. Um, some other interesting things here is an arrow attack unlike any other. So I'm assuming that's a ranger, but maybe if they get the arrow attack unlike any other, uh, you know, that would lead toward the back to the statement of they're not getting another piece of equipment. Um, again, speculation here. Another thing is a generic uh, card that can destroy cards in Arsenal. So that's kind of neat. Uh, this was actually three hours ago. So this is a newer one. This is one that I did not see. Uh, so cool. Um, Generic card that can destroy cards in Arsenal. So uh, maybe that hints at the reprint of uh, Command and Conquer, because that would be hilarious, because that is a generic that can destroy uh, C-O-M-M-A-N-D, Command, and must reset, by the way. That is one thing you'll learn. you got to reset your... Um, Oh lord, you gotta you gotta reset it or you can't see. So defense reactions can't be played to command and conquer. Command and conquer hits a hero, destroy all cards in their arsenal. It's a generic, it's an attack. You know what? There you go. Seen it here first, folks. Proven. Guaranteed. Command and conquer reprint. Speculate. Drop the card. Sell it. It's not worth it. Get rid of it now. Just kidding. I don't I don't know. This is not financial advice. I think I'm legally supposed to say that. So uh yeah, this is not financial advice. This is just speculation. So uh, anyways, <clears throat> this has been super exciting. It took me maybe an hour or more to kind of get together. Uh, it, it is amazing when you start looking at how this is is lined out, that the amount of generic options that exist uh, that add to any um, options for that. So, again, when you take the generics and you filter them down, that's why I think that you have these gaps uh, specifically in, you know, the illusionist, and these down here, because they can be filled with the generics from the legendaries above. Now, again, I don't think that that's good for every situation. I'm sure a specialized piece of equipment is going to outrank anything else, but uh, we'll see. Again, greatly appreciate you tuning in today. I, uh, I really appreciate everybody being here. And again, uh, I, I want to have a heartfelt thank you to, to Bronson um, because... I was reaching out and talking to, to some folks and uh, it's, it's amazing. His, his other video, by the way, just to key in on that, his other uh, video. Yeah. It's his latest video. Yeah. His latest video, which I will link in this, <clears throat> it is please support new and other content creators. You know, it, it really, in my opinion, put him leaps and bounds uh, on a higher respect level. I, I was very, pleased to see that but even on top of that I, i've reached out to him in other uh mediums and he has actually actively responded to me so uh, <clears throat> from that I, I really do want to say cheers and uh thank you for for growing the community uh I, I really appreciate you know all the things you're doing there are so many other good content creators that are out there too i mean even just off the top of my head like uh red zone rogue dm armada kitchen table tcg uh, fluke and box you know i just there's so many that are kind of I, I watch so many of them just like he was he was talking about there's just almost too many to keep up with but it's good i mean i'm getting a lot more information from a lot of different stuff uh there's a new one i think his name's tall timmy he kind of works with i guess fluke and box you know fabled hunters um there's just i mean my history of watching is like when i go that go down it's just like it's a slew of all these different you know youtubers uh obviously you got you know um alpha investments and uh oh you know the professor things like that i mean those are the, the staple guys the big ones that are out there but uh yeah uh, i mean I, i'm surprised that there hasn't been more crossover just yet from some of the like pokemon like you know sm pratt kind of guys or uh, i don't think he'd be interested in it though um you know leon hart stuff like that like the the, the pokey tubers that are out there after this post logan paul big boom thing looking for the next thing i, I see a lot of people folks getting into metazoo um, I, I might steer clear of that one a little bit. I'm, I'm not really sure that that is something I'm going to jump down that road with, but either way, um, 
flesh and blood is is really my jam that's where i'm going to concentrate on and i'm very excited to see where things go so again uh any content creators that are watching us thank you uh anybody who is not a content creator please go do the same watch somebody else's video share like subscribe comment uh grow the community have fun go to your local armory events uh, even though I can't necessarily go to them all the time, it's great that I'm starting to get to, to meet my local community here in Indianapolis. It's exciting. Those people are, are awesome. They are very helpful to teach me. And uh, I'm glad that I'm learning the rules from people that know how to play because yeah, that's important. So, again, thanks for listening to me blab on here. But, uh, everyone, be safe. Have a good night. And uh, I'll catch up with you later. And until next time.